hello friends how's everybody doing this is your friend Jeff playing ultimate general American revolution early access I'm gonna do this battle right here um, I, s I scrapped I tried this battle with Milita and my two regular fusely units from the start of the game and and they just clobbered us with their uh, six pounders so what I did is I scrapped the, the Milita and I made um, Fusilier units. Uh, he's n he suffered a sabotage on the way here um, that poisoned some of his guys. So that kind of sucked. And you know, one of these got a six pounder and the other guys have the three pounder and then these don't have any. And I'm gonna go against these three that have one, two, three four six pounders along with their fort so I mean it, it's not gonna be easy but well, let's um see what it'll be like so yeah and, and I and by kill by by disbanding the militia which they are non-professional and then having the technology with the fuselers to make fuseler units. Um, you know, making those units uh, took like a month uh, to try to get them up to a decent number. And then when you find out that each one of these new fuseler units that you... Fuselers, or however you pronounce it. Each one of these units that you make, you can have like a little supply added to it. And, and then you still get your six companies so it makes a total of seven but anyways um, yeah that's what I learned plus you need a lot of I'm gonna pause so I can see but um, also you get a lot of you know you need a lot of officers so if you if you destroy a military unit with just three officers but you want to make a fusilier unit you need seven officers I mean it, that that's the way the math goes I mean it's free it's it's something else okay so and so yeah so you can see the guys in the front line who got uh, poisoned from a sabotage and now, you know, they, you know, they're only, yeah, they, yeah. So not even getting into the battle, they, they suffered 38 deaths from poison, like a sabotage. I mean, that's crazy. So, all right. Um, the fort is there. They have a couple of units that came out, the three units. So they must be right where we don't see them. And we are right in the, and there's no, there's a, there's a, yeah, but we're, we'd be pushed right to the edge here. Oh yeah, and look, we got the supplies are way over there. Um, yeah, I just don't like the way this is. But man, now if we could go up to here, we'd have these woods. Yeah, I don't know if I could just grab everybody and tell them to head this way. Like, I, you know. And these guys head up here. Yeah, I think that... And I guess I could grab them by a group and tell them to go. Yeah, if, if we had, if, if, I, if I just tell these guys. Yeah, just to head there. I mean, I, I know this is kind of boring, but uh, it is, even for me, it's boring at this moment. Because I just don't like the way this game deploys us. You know, we should be able to... It's too bad we can't deploy the way we want. Just like it would be nice to be in these woods here. 
This would be a nice clump of woods to be in. Because it, cause it, it's pretty extended. But I, I know there's three units that came out of the fort. Yeah, and here they are. And you guys are so small. You guys are going to get over here, okay? All right. Why don't you go there? You here. You go there. All right, you go here. Now that we know where they are. All right, you're going to have to go there. You're going to have to go there. You have to go there. You got to move to there. You come over to there. And you get over there. You back him up. You back that one up. Okay, lock into place, lock into place, lock into place. Okay, now he might he might be hitting this. I don't know it. Oh, no, he, no, he is. No, he he can shoot the guy. Okay, I, I was wondering if he was gonna hit this. So which one is this? Okay, this is the six pounder. Let me shoot that guy there. Yeah, you should have seen it the the first the first two times that I've tried this, boy. I'll tell you. Okay, you're gonna have to get over there. Yeah. That guy in, and this guy needs to be. Yeah, I don't know if it's because he's on a hill. Th this, this six pounder isn't doing much. It's kind of weird.
here. And they got a gun right there, but this unit is here. Hmm. Put the two guns on this unit right here. Fall this guy back. And but look at this two artillery units on him, and it's doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I don't know the angles that we need to put on these people to hurt them. I mean, look at that. That's totally not doing something. There's something not right with that. I mean, we're pretty close. That should be a direct shot right there. Oh, you get over there. I mean, I just cannot believe that we are that close. He's out in the open, and, and, and these guns are not doing nothing. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Look, at go we get hit from guns way back there, you know, too. Plus, there's a gun right here. So, hold, hold in place. You get over here. Come on. Okay, you go charge him. You see that gun shoots once and it and it makes all of us retreat like it's unbelievable. Look, it, we can't even break because uh, I think they, they must, they, they might, they are, is this, is this some mortar? Is that what this is? It seems like they got mortars. So what if you get, uh, whatever, we got to take whatever this is out.
Okay, look. Take that. Get over here. Come on. This is ridiculous. I mean, it's it's pretty bad when a gun this close can't really do much. I mean, okay, that did it that time, but still, like that, that's just crazy. Okay, I want you two guys over here. Come on. Come on. Now you shoot him, and you come out of here. Now let's see what this was. Yeah, this was an 8-inch land service mortar. That's what this was. No wonder it was able to hurt us so much. Okay. Oh, wow, I even got force over here I didn't even know <laughs> okay so you move out you see the, this the, this why this border stuff I, I I don't it's hard to tell what's over here Okay, so if we lock them in, they'll they'll do a little bit better. Okay, so if we lock them in. Go after that. Hey, you know, if you got all your stuff, why don't you just charge him so that way he doesn't get a shot on you? So while that's going on, let me take a look at this. Okay, there we go now. Ready. You get over here. You get to there. And you get over here. can't get him out of there. Okay, I can now. Alright, guys. Where's the other gun shooting us from? Oh, the two that are right over here. So he he's he's not instead of retreating to where we are, you know, he's he's going over that way, and 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 the, he's just gonna keep look at three of them right there. I mean, that that's totally. It's so and plus they're they're aiming at him right now. They're ready ready, ready to fire at him. And so now he's trying to make it back, but 
you know what I mean? Again, they have nothing else to shoot at. So, okay, so let's get these... Let's get into the woods here, please. Ah, oh, like this is crazy, boy. I can't, you know, like, this is ridiculous. Alright, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna sneak around this way and come up behind these guns. Matter of fact, I think that's what all three of you are gonna do. We're gonna see if we can try that. I'll just... Yeah, I don't... I, I'll tell you what, I don't know how to manage these little supply wagons that come with each of the fuselier units. Like, I've never had this before, so I mean, it's kind of hard to manage. Plus, I have a regular supply in here somewhere. Now, guys, do you see this guy right here? Charge him. Charge him. Jeez. Yeah, thank you. There, we got rid of this scrimmage. <laughs> Phew. Okay. Oh, so the fort is there. Now, see, and, and, and I still, I still can't, um, I still can't get in touch. Because cause of their guns. Their guns are constantly shooting at him, and, and it just, he just won't, he just won't do it. Okay, uh, so I, 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 got, I got to figure out that we, we're going to have to just try to take out this gun right here. We, we just got to. Okay, there's still somebody fighting us over here, which I don't can't see because of the, where the border is. Oh, yeah, there's somebody right here. Look, we're gonna try this, but go. I know this. I know the fort must have guns too, but I know it's a long way to go. But you gotta get there. You can't allow these guys to open up on. Yeah, see, and you're not gonna do it. You're gonna. You rather shoot. I don't think shooting is the way to go. I don't think shooting is the way to go. Like. Man, you should be able to hit the C and, and they should charge. I mean, this is ridiculous. Come on. Get him. Close in on him. There we go. Okay, now, you two over here, you go up to there with that. Uh, you, or you take that, and you get up here. You shoot him, and you come over here to get him. Come on. Charge him, because that's a hundred right there. That's gonna be tough. Especially he's he's getting ready to open up. If you can make contact before he opens up. Now he could possibly beat us, but 
but at least he's gonna lose some and we just okay and now you you're gonna head back to matter of fact you can head over here Okay, you, you come over here. Yeah, you go, f you, you, I know you're the, you're, you're a combined unit, but you're gonna come over here and see if you can eliminate him. You're gonna come over here to see if you can get these guns. Because we will have a good, I think we, we get a good percentage of them. He's probably coming back to look for his guns, and he doesn't realize that we took them. <laughs> I don't think he realizes that we took them, and I'm about to take this one. And these guys are all empty, but now you come up this way, okay? Yeah, just shoot him, I guess. Good. I think he just dissolved. And now if you come over here. So, yeah, so I am wondering if they took all the guns out of the fort and brought them forward to fight us. Like, you know, what is actually left in the fort? I mean, they had, they had, like, when I first looked at them, they had close to 2,000. And uh, and and I guess I, this is a good opportunity to talk to you about uh, some of the things that I've seen in this game right now. Um, I don't know if you know this, but because I didn't attack Boston, come on, you got to get going. Don't let him shoot you. Yeah, that's why you got to get over there, okay? And I know when we, we finish this, we won't have these guns that we picked up. But in the battle, we can use them. And so that's why I'm trying to get him over there. So he's over here. And like I said, uh, and we have, we have ammo, so these guys will have ammo. Okay, good, we killed that one, and now we just gotta come over and kill this guy. Oh no, what I was gonna say too, yeah. I don't know if you know this, but Boston, guess how much, like, see if you can take a guess of how many troops are in Boston right now, because I never took Boston. You know what I mean? Like, I'm totally, uh, so by totally avoiding Boston, because they usually have six to eight thousand, plus they might have a few thousand in uh, Salem. But I, I looked just recently before doing this, and they had, take a, like, take a guess right now. And I'm going to tell you that the, what the answer is. It's, it's 22,000, okay? There's 22,000 in Boston right now in my game. You know, and, and I'm supposed to go up and get uh, Montreal and, and Quebec. And then the last thing would be Boston. But Boston has 22,000 now. So if you think at the beginning of the game when they only have six to 8,000, imagine them now with 22,000. I mean, isn't that ridiculous? I mean... I mean that is totally ridiculous. Now it now if I look at the bar here, it doesn't look like much. I mean but you seen how I had to fight it like 
up in the woods because they, they had so they must have brought everything that, you know what I mean it's kind of weird because I know they had 2000 but they came out so it, so if when you looked at when this battle started most of them came out so you didn't get to see the full 2000 that they had and but but I will tell you this it does make a difference of swapping out those uh like destroying those military units and creating um, these uh, fuselers, which are now in blue uniforms. So, I mean, these guys in the brown, these are the two units that we got originally in the, in the game when we started it. And so now um, I got to figure out how I'm, I want to do this now. So, yeah, um, let's see. Looks like he's rested. He did not. Let's see. So do I have any viable companies, meaning a full company? Because, <laughs> yeah, the way this happened, boy. Yeah, because it's hard to tell. Because I know, I know I had a three-pounder, you know. And, and I know I had a six-pounder. That's all I had. They it was all of their stuff. So yeah, I I guess I guess I can send these three to here so we can see what is in the fort. Along with my general. You know, and I and I guess we could move the guns because if there is maybe these guns will uh shoot at somebody. So yeah, let's move the guns. And so yeah, so we're gonna have you know like I I don't know like I I wish we we knew the facts on you know like what percentage of stuff that we get from captured units or just disbanded units and things like that. I mean, there's a little bit of red, so that oh yeah, see they still got they still got a viable force in there. And if they don't have a gun, then that means they sent all their guns out. And so then, yeah. And so okay, so this would be a good way of showing showing you. Now, of course, we do have a mortar, so that they had a mortar, so um, so we used the mortar, um. They, I mean, they used the mortar against me. Well, let me see. Is this the mortar? No, this is a six. Wow. Hey, look, we even got a, you know, perk. But okay. So let's put the gun right there. I guess we'll go a little bit faster. Now, is this the mortar? Yeah, this is the mortar. Okay, good. Now I don't know what the range of the mortar is, so let's put the mortar right there for now. Because that, the mortar will be really nice. Because we can definitely, because I've had problems uh, having cannons shooting directly at the fort. And it, and it hits the wall and it doesn't do anything. And so, so now having the mortar here, even though I won't have it when I finish this battle. Yeah, see, they, they just, you know, like, yeah, we'll, we'll put these guns, uh, we'll set the guns up. Just so that way, and and don't forget, I only had a a three pounder and a six pounder, so all this other stuff is all all of theirs. Ready. All right, so now this this mortar, I don't know how to use the mortar.
you know. Yeah, see, see. The rounds go up in the air and then they come down. Put that gun over there for a minute. Yeah, I guess uh, we'll leave these guys here and the ammo. Alright, so I'm going to shut off the guns. Only the mortars are going to shoot. Because, like I said, um, we're just wasting ammo with the cannons because they're not doing much. But the mortar can do damage because it's going up above and then down. So, can the mortar... Can the mortar get over here? And you get right... And you move a little forward. Yeah, I know you're exhausted. But I want you in a position where you can you can do some damage to because we've taken a lot of loss from what happened out there with all those Yeah, so it took me a long time to figure out what what they had this mortar like like the the 6 pounders are one thing. But like I said, you, you can see how we had these uh, six pounders mainly that we captured and we're shooting, and and they and, and you can see that they're still at these guys are still pretty much at full strength. It's only this unit who's getting hurt from the mortar. Yeah, maybe I'll tell them to shoot that guy. Oh, that's, and now it could be the unit that I got on here doesn't have much experience with it, I guess. But uh, just look at, not even, not even a hit. I mean, dude. All right, I'll try to hit this guy. Then. So if you miss this guy, maybe you'll hit this guy. <laughs> Let's try that. This. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to take a look at um, the stats once we're done with this. Like I said, this is a level one foot, so it, you know it. It would be easy to get, but again, we took such loss. Are you out of ammo? Get a little bit closer, okay. Not close enough to where they can shoot you, but yeah. So that that tells me that they sent all their artillery out of that fort, or the units that came out to greet us were the ones that had the artillery. It, it seems is a way of looking at it, I guess. Okay, well now we can open up the guns. Okay, well now. Uh, now, um, I know this might be boring for you, but... Um, I would strongly suggest doing this, but um, so can we put a gun right there? Can we put a mortar right there? 
Let me get other guns in. This infantry goes there. And uh, this gun can go right here. And then these guys break back to what they were. Get it. Ah, oh, this uh, this is empty. Oh well. Okay, so seeing the uh, depot, or what, you know what I call a depot, they call it a magazine sometimes, but whatever. Um, we see that it's empty. So then, if I can click on all my things, yeah, and even my officer. Look at he he got some deaths, nine deaths. So yeah, this was not. This was not, uh, what was I going to say? This was not too easy. Alright, let's go fast and let's just make sure everybody is back to a good condition. I think it's the guns that uh, won't be... So we have to put them on hold. And I'll tell you, it was fun using that mortar because as you can see, uh, the, the artillery, you're just wasting rounds trying to shoot at a fort. Like, I, I don't know. They got to make, they got to do some kind of change to the game to make it a little bit more effective. Like, maybe, maybe they need to make the forts um, have destruction. Right, because if in real life, if if we shot, you know, a six pounder here, it would it would destroy this partially, and then it would destroy it some. You know what I mean? Like there would be damage. The rounds ain't gonna just bounce off wood. I mean, especially if we're close. All right, I'll scan out like this just to take a look at this uh, map. Uh, you can see. All of our guys, yeah. So th these guys must be rested. So yeah, I'm not I'm not used to having a fuselage that each each fuselage unit has a s little supply wagon. <laughs> that was a little co confusing, but it's a but it's a but it, but if you think about it, it's a nice feature. All right. Okay. Yeah. See, I told you they had two thousand. So I had twenty four hundred. I had ten guns. They had twenty guns. They lost 16 of their 20 guns, which is a big deal. We didn't get any prisoners. I mean, I tried sometimes to, to charge and stuff, but it didn't work. Um, but this is a lot better than getting totally obliviated, okay? I mean, it is what it is. So, yeah. Yeah, so look at look at uh look at all their units that were destroyed. Like totally destroyed. And I got to look at my units. And I do not see that Yeah. Good. So none of my units got destroyed. So none of my companies got destroyed. So I don't know how that didn't happen, but I mean, <laughs> so yeah. All right. So again, uh, they lost 1,200 of their 19 and stuff like that. We rested a little bit, which I would strongly suggest doing that. And so let's see what happens when we go on the screen here. And then, I, then I can explain a whole bunch of stuff of what's going on in the game. Because I know the way this opened up, I didn't really get to do any of that. And so I got a lot to tell you about the sea battles and, and things of that nature and and some bugs and stuff that I ran into and, and stuff like that. Like, I don't think I talked about that in the beginning, so. 
So I just expect to get a little bit of information that I'm going to give you. All right, I'm going to pause, obviously. And we are right here. So let's see if we can... Okay, so we didn't get them all, but it's okay. We're going to get these little bit of weapons, equipment that they dropped. We'll send this, u this unit back to uh, Ticonderoga. And now we got this. And so we'll go into the fort. We'll go into the fort. We'll go into the fort. And I and I think let's see if I can put my general. Well, I'll put my general in. in well, I don't know because he can see he can see out better. So he'll go here. Let's see if our general can get um, some horses and regenerate. Okay, and then my supply wagon is going to go over here. And then I want this unit in here. And so, yeah. So I got the two brown coats that we got from the beginning of the game uh, here. And we have one of the fuses. So I'll, I'll show you these guys right here. So, so you can see, once you get the fuseler uh, technology, you can then put three in. And then it will show you that you can put in a cannon, and then it shows you that you can put this in, and then for the final one, you can put in another unit. And so this guy, he's got the six pounders, and hey, look! And it says we have five in the arsenal. So that means, so, yeah, so wow. So what that tells me, because he's already out a hundred, so that means he's good. So then I can go over here to this unit, and I think I can give him the six pounder. And I'll have I'll have two fuselier units that have the six pounders. I just happen to have enough for two units. And so these two units will have that. And so that is really neat. And now I'm gonna tell the supply wagon to get in. The reason I created a supply wagon was because winter's coming and we're gonna need a lot of uh, stuff. Otherwise our army's gonna crumble. And because I, it, it, and look at this. Now don't forget too, I think fuselers, uh, or fuselers or however you pronounce it, they, they cost more than the military. Like they, so just by me making four of those units, um, plus doing, and I'll show you over here. I had to make an intelligence officer here like I, 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 I did I had that for last, but I, I had to do that uh, simply because um, and then I, I put it up over to here, like if you can see you can go up to here. And that kind of stopped the sabotage that the British were doing to me. But I think this is eight hundred a day and 
it broke me like that broke me plus having the 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 fusilier units uh, broke me now yeah can't put it there so all right so hold on all right you can see right here what i'm doing right I was trying to get uh, the technology for Arnold, but which he's a trader. But I mean, I was trying to get the technology, but then I saw that uh, uh, Phil Fine Wood. So you know, we had to do this, and I got so, and then I just got this online. So you know, I you know, I, uh, you know, th this is the first thing to do for that. We can pick something here. I mean, I. Uh, well, let me let me do this here. Let me do that for now. Or we could go over here for uh, the blacksmith shop. So 2% on guns production. I mean, do you see how nice this game is, though? There's a lot of stuff to try to consider. And it's hard to decide. And then there's there's this thing about this guy here, right? Like the game told me about this, and and I and I have to research this in order to get it. So you can get a free unit called Morgan's Rifleman, but the unit will be available for duty in Boston. Well, I don't own Boston, and Boston has twenty two thousand. So I mean, there's no way that I'm gonna do it, and stuff like that. And because I ran out of officers or, you know, we didn't have enough of them when I made these fusil units, you can see that project recruitment of low rank is finished. You can see tensions between Britain and France. Fort, Fort Frederick is captured. And so, you know, I'm once, you know, whatever, but it's, but it's August 24th. Like, this is pretty late. So, okay, so let's take a look at this uh, overall. Now, if I had somebody over here that could show you, but I the last time I was over in this area, I seen 22,000 here. And I seen a couple thousand there. So, I mean, that's a significant force and and these are the only three milita that I have left they've been here since the beginning of the game we're just holding this and then up here these two militas which one of them is the Portsmouth guy that was originally from here along with the 84th continent so yeah and then uh, then up here in uh, Falmouth I did make I did scrap the guy that was here and I made uh, this uh, and, and, and he's now at f he's at uh, pretty much full status so 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 this is the way it looks when you make one of these the you can see you know, one infantry company, another one, another one, and then a three pounder, a little bit of supply, and another infantry. So, and, and, it, and so that, like these guys perform better than the, the Milita. But I think they cost more too overall. So, I mean, you know, you, I guess you gotta consider that. But I'm going to just tell you, the last battle that I did, I would not have been able to have done that battle with military units. I just wouldn't be able to do it. They would, they, they would, all, be, they would all be destroyed, every single one of them. 
And that's what made me load back to a save and spend almost a month of trying to build these guys up. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, so he's good. And we got this guy here, like, you can see that he's a militer. Now, I could scrap him, but when I had done the, I have done the save twice. Like, I had to go through this to get practice on doing all this. And when I scrapped him and made him a fuseler over here, these guys came down and destroyed him before he could even build up. So, so this is the only reason why I'm not touching him. They can still do that and take him out. But at least in this area, I'll have one really good unit. This one. Because if I scrap these guys and try to make them it, um, I bet you that will set a hornet's nest off. So I don't, so I don't, so... So I'm just not doing I'm just holding for now. These were the two ships that the game gave us. So at some point, the game will give you two brigs. And the interesting thing about these brigs was the fact that they um, come, you know, like you could give them two perks. But I ran into a problem of when I... You, okay, so you, you tag the two ships, right? And then you say leave port. Well, I'm not going to do it, but... Um, when I did it, they came out here. They engaged somebody. I, I went to say, okay, fight it. Because it was a reasonable ship that we could fight with, with just Briggs. And the game only put in what's called Harwick ship it did not put this in so so think about going in with two brigs and you only get one in and stuff and you you know and and, and then then i ran into another problem where he didn't shoot now i can show you right here he does have guns right six pounders 18 of them but he would not shoot and then the game kind of like froze and stuff and I had to use Control Alt Delete to get out of the game and stuff. So I mean the end process. So uh so then then I so then I start the game again. I, I, I do the same darn thing. And again that happens. So I, I so I have to close it out, get the game back going, and then I report with the F1, like this this report here. So I reported that. So then I load the save again of before I did all that and I sent my five ships out here thinking that the game might still do that same kind of thing but it didn't and so so when I came out here um I fought a a Rousey that's this ship right here see a, a Razi frigate This guy has uh, naval guns of 32 pounders and, and naval guns of 24 pounders. And he had, he had a lot of guys. Um, and so anyways, I fought him with my three Corvettes and a Brig. And he blew two of them up. So I mean, but you know I had to I had to redo it again um, and do it, and I I I had to do this battle three times. I didn't record it because, like I said, I kept failing at it. So I didn't know that I would actually uh, capture him. Okay, like, and believe me, I was down to the just these two ships that you see here. Like the, the Fair Haven and the Cushionet. I lost the Providence. I lost the Fall River. Like they, they actually sunk. But in the end, I captured him. So, 
you know, you have to kind of, I wonder what you think about that. Like, that, you know, I, 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 you know, I, I lost a brig. I lost a, I lost a, yeah, the ship I lost was the, the 28 gun ship that had like 300 on it. Like, I, that ship sunk and stuff. So, so anyways, you can see here, I still have the Fairhaven. It looks like they're ready. I have the Akushnet. And it looks like uh, they're close to being ready. They still got a little bit of, of, of sail and a little bit of structure to fix. And then I renamed this one, this this flagship to be the USS New Bedford Mass, but whalers, but um, we got 530 guys on here. And so, yeah, you see our, our stats here. So, yeah, uh, this ship will be online pretty soon. I mean, got a little bit of sail and a little bit of, of structure. But my finances are getting down, and it's getting close to the end of August. And so now I only have three ships, but I think it's better to have the ra the Razi right now. So I have to wonder what you think about that. Like, like I'm I'm happy that, you know, that's my flagship now. Of course, I don't know how a Razi a Razi would do against the um, like the the Bologna class seventy eight gun ship. I mean, I don't know how that'll be, but but I'll say anything below that. You know what I mean? I should be able to take care of it. And like I said, my plan for the winter is if I have to decommission these ships and sell the brigs for money if I need it, I mean, I can, I can show you... Yeah, like currently right now, I guess I'm not building anything. Um... Oh yeah, I wanted to show you here. Yeah, see the resources? You can see the goods. I have 132 in storage of ammunition. I have 25 wagons in storage. I've got some furs. Got some textiles. And I got 46 horses. Now it looks like we have 296 of these from doing this this battle that we just did. So I can give some of those. I can give. I can make two companies with uh, those. And we still got a thousand of these. And we only have 12 infantry, and we have uh, five ships. That's it. So the next time that I, what I'm going to have to do, like I said, I don't know how I'm going to solve this problem. Like, I'm thinking you're going to have to, at the start of the game, you're going to have to do something. Instead of doing whatever else I did, you're going to have to try to, to take Boston in some way because um, them having 22,000, I mean, look at they could send 5,000 here, 5,000 there, 5,000 there, right? They could send, they could send 5,000 there and still leave a thousand in Boston. They could even send whatever they got in Salem to here and here and take all. I mean, it is, it's, 
It's outrageous. I mean, I don't have... You know what I'm saying? If, if you look at what I got, right? I do not have a large force. Like, you can't count these three units and you can't count these two and you can't count that because those are military they'll they'll get squashed the moment they get attacked so my true force my absolute true force is this unit right here my ships down here and just the troops that I got in this area right here. Um, I have nobody else anywhere else. That's it. I have nobody else. And the reason I, you know, and the, re and the other reason too is that, right, I mean, winter's coming. It's going to be hard times. And my money is, is really down here. Because if you look at my financing and you look at sea trade, that's almost 4000 But if you look at my army expense, you know. And so, yeah. It's, 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 it, this game is kind of tough, to be honest. So, but anyways, I got to end the video, right? So, I mean. So, anyways. The next time you see a video, if you do, that means if I continue, <laughs> maybe I'll show a sea battle or maybe, you know, but it's going to, it's going to be some time and it might be winter because I, I got to get these guys back to full strength. Like this unit, like this unit here, this is what I call full strength. But at least when these when these two fuselers, uh, the new fuselers that I made, when they, when they get up, at least they're gonna have twelve uh, 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 not twelve six pound guns. So so those are a lot better. And I don't know. You know I don't know in the tech in the technology here. Of of where. Like it must be an, it must be an artillery where we could get the mortar. So, so here's the six one. So is this the mortar right here? Yeah, mortars right there. So yeah, so I would have to, okay, so if I give up, if I give up, if I give up going down this way, And if I go, I have to get this first. And then get over to here. And then get the mortars. Because I already have mortars that I captured. Well, not captured, but the game gave me some. Uh, and on top of that, let's go to cannons. Yeah, see? Okay, so you know, so you see what's disappointing, right? Look at, look, look, look. You saw me just do that battle. You know that I, I captured a couple of mortars. I captured a couple of guns. So I did get enough six pounders so I can make two units of six pounders of, of, the, of the field guns. But I still got the same uh, six mortars that the game gave me long ago. 
So, I mean, that means I didn't get any mortar uh, from that battle. So that's disappointing, but if it takes five guns to create a field gun, then it might take five guns to, to make a uh, eight inch land service mortar. So as soon as I get that technology, I'll be able to do that, I guess. So, so maybe that'll be something that I'll try for. So this will be done in four days, and then I can I can start doing this. But I don't have Boston, so I don't know. Even if I get this technology, will they give me this unit? I don't think so. It says he he comes from Bo in Boston, and, uh, so so that I don't know. So there's a lot of things that I don't know about this game. And so with that said, I think it's a good time to just say uh, it's over. So yep. All right. Well, anyways. No matter where you are in the world, folks, have a great day, a great afternoon, a great evening. Please take care of yourselves. Be kind to other people. God bless to you and your own religion. Keep all religions equal. This is your friend Jeff. Signing out. Uh, adios, amigos, and adios, the lovely amigas. <laughs>